सो यू मे बी आस्ट अ क्वेश्चन वट डू यू मीन बाई फील्ड पैरामीटर्स और दिस क्वेश्चन मे बी फ्रेज लिटल बिट डिफरेंटली यू मे बी आस दैट आई वॉन्ट टू हैव अ डायनामिक एक्सिस और अ डायनामिक मेजर स्लाइसर देन हाउ कैन आई अचीव दैट और यू मे बी आस दैट लेट से आई हैव अ एक्सिस विच इज ऑन ब्रांड आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस टू कैटेगरी सब कैटेगरी और स्टेट और सिटी यूजिंग अ स्लाइसर हाउ कैन आई डू दैट और यू मे बी आस्ट आई हैव अ मेजर ऑन माई वाई एक्सिस ऑफ माई क्लस्टर्ड कॉलम बार विजुअल and that is net and i want to change it with let's say gross margin percentage discount percentage etc how can i do that so answer to all these question is field parameter the field parameter feature was released in may 2022 update prior to that we have set an alternate to do that and it allows user to dynamically change the dimension or axis slash row so it it change basically dimension so basically categorical variable so that could be on axis that could be on row or a column or a group by or unsummarized value basically and it can also be used for major slicer or value slicer so so this feature alone can serve for both the purposes of dimension slash axis slicer or major slash value slicer so this is a really good feature so the case of dimension or axis slicer field parameter can completely replace the need of bookmarks and unpivot table columns to have dynamic axis for the major slicer it replaces the old technique of creating an independent table and writing down a major where one can change the major in the visual based on the slicer selection from the newly created table or the calculation group was another alternate for major slicer it replaces all those old techniques so let's explore how can we use field parameters in power bi so i came to power bi and here i am adding a new page and in this new page i'm i'll tell you how how to use the field parameters so the option of field parameter is available under modeling you go to new parameter previously it used to be only numeric parameters now you have fields parameter now if you want to create a axis slicer what you should do is you should select the categorical values let's say brand category sub category item name city and state and it also gives you an option add slicer to this page if you want you can do that otherwise it will create a table from there you can again drag it and create a slicer so it creates a slicer for you now you can use this on axis now before i do that i'm going to go back to modeling again and i'm going to go to new parameters uh, leave numeric and i'll click on fields now this time i'm going to create for major so what i'm going to do is uh major uh, let me call one and i'm going to bring in majors now so basically what i'm going to bring majors is basically i'll bring net gross cogs discount percentage and margin percentage and it again creates a slicer for me because that option was checked now what i can do is i can really create a dynamic visual so i can go here and i, I can say i will create a clustered column bar here and here in the clustered column bar on the x axis and uh, which is axis 2 i'm going to bring in so let me see which is this this axis 2 okay and then i'll go to major and once i have the major you will be able to see major 1 and i'll bring it to y axis and now i'll check one value so you will see now this is brand wise now if i click here this is category wise this is sub category wise this is name wise this is city wise and same way i can change it to gross cox discount percentage the city automatically change to the percentage value and margin percentage so in this manner field parameters can give you both dynamic axis as well as dynamic major so this is a really important feature you should remember and practice for your interviews